Welcome to Exchange Server Administration Troubleshooting Database Failures Database availability and health are critical for Exchange Server functionality because mailbox databases store all mailboxes and data and therefore are very important. So if you suspect a mailbox database failure, you should incorporate the following guidelines in your troubleshooting process. You should identify the scope of the problem. You can gather available information that concern the end users who are affected and determine if there is any correlation. Affected mailboxes may be located on the same database or the multiple database. This can be a good indication of whether the issue is isolated to a specific database, specific mailbox server or your exchange organization as a whole. You should also analyze the exchange server services like Microsoft Exchange Information Store because this service manages the mailbox databases and it depends on other services such as Microsoft Exchange Active Directory topology. If services on which your mailbox database depends fail, you should investigate these failures and try to resolve them. You can verify the status of exchange service on a specific server quickly by running the command like test service health. You can run this commandlet test service health server and the server name is ex02 2019 and hit enter. You can see the mailbox server role and the service is running. The, all the services of the mailbox server role is running. There is no service which is not running. And same for the client access server role. All the services are running and services not running is none. And for the hub transport server, all the services are running. You can check it quickly by this commandlet. Let's get back to the slides. Once you confirm the services, you can check for the free space of your disk. You can check that how much free disk space you have and if the logical disk on which your database are located is full, the database is dismounted automatically. If the disk has no free space, you should extend the logical disk and if it is possible, you can move the database to another logical disk that has more disk space. The next is you can verify the mailbox database status by these two commandlet get mailbox database and test mappy connectivity. Let's go back to the exchange management shell and try this commandlet. You can run the following commandlet get mailbox database status fl name mount. It will tell you that the database is mounted or not. So if I hit enter, you can see that our database name is db01 2019 and it is mounted on the server ex02 2019 and mounted startup like it has been mounted on startup and it is mounted that is true. And in order to test the mappy connectivity, you can run the commandlet get mailbox database test mappy connectivity and you can see the mappy connectivity result is success for the database db01 and on the mailbox server ex02 2019. And the next is analyze event logs. You can use the event viewer or the get event log windows powershell commandlet to analyze event logs for any error messages that will guide you to the next troubleshooting steps. If we run this commandlet get event log computer name that is the name of our exchange ex02 2019 log name application entry type is error and warning. So this will show us the error and warning in the event log. You can see the errors and warning here. Error says the star TLS certificate will expire soon and the warning says unable to find the certificate with thumbprint certificate certificate all of the error seems to be related to the certificate so in this case we have to look on the certificate federation or auth certificate not found internal transport certificate will expire so we have to check that our certificate is about to expire so we have to renew it so this way you can check your error and warning and the next one is you should troubleshoot the storage subsystem Databases can become corrupt if the storage subsystem has issues or in the case of remote block storage an unreliable connection to the exchange server occurs. If you encounter a corrupt database, you can recover it from the backup or reseed it if you have configured it in a DAG. And the next one is analyze third party application installed on the exchange server. If you deploy the third party business applications that communicate with your organization exchange server, you should ensure that you install these application according to the vendor specification. Software that you install or configure incorrectly can cause database failure. A moreover, the antivirus application that are not designed for exchange server might corrupt the database and which can result in a database failure. 
in case of DAG, you can also check this commandlet test replication health identity ex02 2019. This commandlet will show you the replication health of this particular server. And it is useful to troubleshoot the database replication and review the status of multiple replication checks for the specific DAG members. It will show you the health of the DAG members failover cluster components and the status of the log copy. Here you can see the replay service passed, active manager passed, RPC listener passed, database redundancy failed and database availability failed. Because right now there is no DAG configured. So it says that there was database availability check failure for database this that may be lowering its availability. So the DAG is not present. So that's why it's failed. So this will show you that the database redundancy have failed database availability have failed. So you can check on that and you can troubleshoot your database why it's failing. You can also check get mailbox database copy status. This commandlet show the status of each database copy regardless of whether it is active or passive. And it also shows the number of transaction log awaiting copy and replay. And it also shows the health of the content index. The number of transaction logs pending copy or replay typically is a good indicator of the source of replication issue in a DAG. A high copy queue length may indicate that your network connectivity is constrained between the active and passive copies of the database. And the high replay queue length may indicate an underperforming disk subsystem or high processor utilization. You can also run the following commandlet like get mailbox database copy status with a star. This will verify the database copy status of the all database. Right now we have one that's why it's showing us one database otherwise if you have a multiple database it will show you the status of all the database. I hope you got it and now you know how you can troubleshoot the common database failure issues. Let's meet in the next video.